Space Marine 2 has released the new operation, Termination, and I've been playing it quite a bit. I've managed to beat it on all difficulty levels, and today I'll be talking about the objectives, key moments, item locations, and my overall thoughts about this operation. Feel free to tell me what you think about this operation in the comments. This is your spoiler warning. If you have not played this level, know that I will be discussing it in detail. We're off to the dying planet of Kadaku for this one. The planet is being turned into biomass and consumed by T-Rated capillary towers. Our objective is to assist the remaining Cadian forces by reaching an abandoned fortress where we use the Icarus LAS cannons to take down both a bio titan and those capillary towers. I have to say the intro to this level is pretty awesome. You see this huge battle between the remaining Cadian forces and the Tyranids. Off in the distance you see a giant bio titan spitting acid everywhere. Due to the battle that's taking place, we can't just go straight to the fortress. We'll have to go around and come up from underneath. With the plan in place, we begin our journey, but it isn't long before we encounter our first enemy, an alien flower. After punching that flower in its stupid pulsating face, the path clears and we see a large sprawling area, as we start a pretty long stretch of skirmishes from the jungle to the fortress. However, due to the placement of the collectibles in this stretch, I would advise to just hug the left wall to move forward. By all means, kill any and all Tyranids you might find. It's just from the start of this section, if you hug the left wall, you could come across an armory data spawn. And then if you go up a hill and drop down, a guardian relic spawn. From here, you'll turn a corner and before heading uphill, tucked away to the left is a gene seed spawn. Clear all the Tyranids and after you head uphill and forward a small bit, to the left will be reeds hiding a little nook where another guardian relic might be. Moving forward from this area, you'll reach an ammo crate and a boulder blocking your way. Restock and lift the boulder out of your way. To the left is a small passage with another gene seed spawn, worth checking out. Now after this is a short interior section that will lead to a few drop-offs towards the fortress. Before you drop down though, to the left are some reeds hiding another small nook with another guardian relic spawn. All the items are on the left in the jungle, it's wild. Once you drop down to the fortress entrance, you'll find a loadout station which you can use to refill your ammo, and then you'll make your way in through what looks like a sewage tunnel. It must reek of death and excrement. This tunnel leads you to a door, and when you go in, you are faced with a challenge, as you have to turn on consoles that will allow you to use the cannons for the big fight. This section is wild. There are so many Tyranids constantly spawning in and possibly a terminus enemy depending on the difficulty you're playing on. You awaken the console by standing in a certain area, though eventually you'll have to remove invasive material from a different console. This is done by shooting three large glowing seed nodes around the console where barbed vines are spawning from. Sometimes they can be at tricky angles to shoot. If there's an explosive nearby, try shooting that first. I find it sometimes helps. Now there are a lot of collectibles that might spawn in this area. Two possible data armory spawns, one tucked behind a plow to the right and one tucked behind some boxes to the far rear left. Also to the far right there is a room and downstairs there's a little meat pocket that has a gene seed spawn. In this same room all the way to the bottom there's a small passage that has a guarded relic spawn. Once you have reactivated the consoles, you can then open up the gates. This leads you into a room that will have more enemies to fight and two collectible spawns. A gene seed spawn in the back left and a guardian relic spawn upstairs and to the left. After exiting this room, you should see a room with intense eerie red lighting. In this room towards the back is an armory data spawn. Opening the next door will bring you to a large spiral ramp where you have to fight your way up. As you go up and to the left, there will be offshoots. The first one will have a guardian relic spawn, and the one at the very top will have an armory data spawn. Once you clear the ramp, the second to last offshoot will have you enter what looks like a supply room, and you have to fight more Tyranids. The supply room has a side room to the left and a side room to the right. The one on the left has a gene seed spawn, and the one on the right has a guardian relic spawn tucked away. Clearing this area out leads you to an elevator, which will take you to the final stretch. When the elevator stops, you're given a chance to refill your ammo or change your loadout. Opening the next door, you'll see the giant bio titan as he walks over you to wherever it is he's going. You fight your way forward through more Tyranids till you reach the last cannon platform. Here you'll want to clear out the Tyranids that are currently there and make use of a guardian relic spawn that's tucked away not too far from the center console. To initiate the fight with the bio titan, you'll use the center console to connect yourself to a server skull. This server skull will have you use your secondary gun to aim and fire the laser cannons at the bio 
Cloud Titan. An important note is that you will lose access to your primary. So if you were the main wave clearer, you may want to let a different player take up the cannon role because there will be waves or tyranids to fight off against. Also, the Bio Titan will fire back with large volleys of acid. These acid shots will remain on the ground in a pretty big area for a small amount of time, creating a walking hazard that you have to be careful with. I find though that the acid volleys for the most part are easy to take cover from or dodge. After a couple of shots, you'll have to recharge the laser cannons by spinning a marked generator in one of the corners of the map. Repeat the pattern of firing laser cannons and recharging them a couple of times and then you will be treated to a nice cutscene of a bio titan dying and capillary towers exploding. Now I'm a fan of this mission, and even though it can be intense with the sheer amount of tyrannies that uh, this mission throws at you, it does make sense given the circumstance. Enjoy how this operation starts out, the whole fortress bit is fun, and the end fight is a blast. The jungle stretch feels like it could have been short enough. It. But how do I rank it? Let me first start with updating my current rankings. I'm gonna swap Vox and Fall of Atreus, and then putting this at number three. I've been seeing more three-way fights in Vox, which is why I wanted to put it up higher. Of course, let me know where you would rank this, and if you want to see more Space Marine 2 or co-op gaming content, subscribe.